All right, mud lovers, how you doing? I'm with Tim today, and that can only mean one thing. Again, we are bottle digging, and we've got some great, great spots here to try and find some excellent Victorian treasures. And Tim, Eagle Eye Tim, he has, found, he has found a coin already sitting in the rough dirt. Let's have a look now and see what it is. So Tim, what you found, mate? Well, we might have a coin which is looking in the spoil from last time, and the rains slowly polished the spoil for us. Um, it might not be a coin, mind you, but we'll check it out. Oh, uh, oh it's a spoon handle. Part of a spoon head. <laughs> That's pretty cool, though. Good sign of things to come. Yep, right age, right place. <laughs> Let's do it. Wrong item. <laughs> What have you got, Tim? I was just uh, starting oh. on a new bit of uh, a new area. We've had a, a daddy's favourite. Oh, nice. nice sheer top. Yeah, nice Victorian bowl. Good one to start on. We've got a bit of a flag coming out. Favourite. Broken. Daddy's. Oh. Um, oh, oh, wow. It's a nice uh, South Kensington. Not too far. Yeah. yeah see if Might we might be able to research that. Might be able to find a bit more of it if we keep digging. <laughs> What's this? No. Plant pot. That's a bit more of it. Oh yeah, shame it's not complete, isn't it? Yeah. Oh well, keep looking. Spirit Merchant. Oil and Spirit, is it? Yeah, 32. Probably 31 or 32 at Sussex Place. South Ken. This flagon was probably part of a spirit and wine merchant next door to the Victoria pub in Sussex Place. It's still going strong today. It was common for pubs to have their own distillery, maximising profits. Well, my first bottle turns out to be something quite nice. A little uh, medicine with a little mark on it. Come take a look. There we go, look. Oh, it's an ink. Is it an ink, is it? M for M for morals. Oh, nice. Um, it's an ink or a gum. It's more of a gum shape. Yeah. The company made gum and ink. Oh, sweet. I thought it was a little medicine, but that's all right. Unusual. I haven't found one like that before. Very nice. Nice sheer top. Yeah. That's cool. Excellent. Come out the seam. Well, I've got myself a little clay pipe. Come and have a look. I just literally turned over this uh, soil, and there it is. Nice. Oh, 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 it's complete. Nice one. Oh, that's so cool. Do you know what? I don't think I've ever found a complete pipe like this one before believe it or not this is the first it looks to be in great condition happy days or if there's a maker's mark on it doesn't look like there is on that side not that side but never mind it's still a lovely thing absolutely gorgeous so happy with that that's a little knobbly Knobbly, knobbly bowl. With little dimples going around it. How cool is that? I had no idea they made them so small. You can see there the end. This is the end you smoked out of, obviously, and it's complete because it's got the little bit where you could bite it in between your teeth. Like Popeye. And it is that. I show Tim because. That is my star find of the day. Do you smoke, sir? Oh, what a nice pipe. A bit knobbly. <laughs> it's a 
it's to hold it, grip it's it. It's a great one, isn't it? Grip it when you've got your meaty fingers. Do I look a bit like Popeye? That's what I just said, yeah, it's like a Popeye pipe. You Very nice. Grip it in your teeth. Very hard go, go, to go, go, go. Hair, as, you, as you know. Oh man, I'm, yeah, I'm surprised, shocked, amazed, and absolutely stunned all at once. Must be made up. Happy with that? Well done, mate. Thank you. So I'm still paring over this pipe. I noticed it's got little feet that you can rest it on the table so it doesn't fall over if you're taking a little break between puffs or resting it before you uh, spark up again. Anyway, there we go. Ooh. Well, I found a pot lid. Sadly, it's broken, but it's just there. Look, can you make that out there, Tim? Yeah. No, not a common one. Ah, that's, that's got the best bit, though, isn't it? Yeah, you got the best bit. Durbins. Oh, what it's a shame. A, the rest of it might be in there. And it, could I mean, be. It's a clean break. It's not fresh. It's no. been, but you could easily find the other half in there, so I'd keep if, yeah, looking. Durbin's, uh, well, I'm gonna say toothpaste. It's not a common one, that's for sure. I can't say I immediately recognize that one. Ooh, rare part of that's a heartbreaker, real heartbreaker. That is still, we'll have a little dig around here, see if the rest of it is in there. That will be. We'll have a careful, good luck, careful little dig here, see if we can find the rest. Yeah. Yeah. No, this isn't an amazing restoration. This is what the pot lid would have looked like. Toothpaste used to be sold as powder, sold in pots like this, which you would then dab your brush in. I much prefer the packaging back then. Such beautiful typography. These are really collectible and I love the design, so hopefully we'll find more in the future. Well, just uncovered this little clay pipe, number two of the day. I believe it's an Innis Killian pipe. And it's got a little castle there. And these were like the Irish, whatever you call them, regiment, or based in Ireland anyway. Quite a, quite a fairly common pipe. I found a few of these in the past, but they're absolutely beautiful. So when that gets cleaned up, um, you can see the beauty in that. Also, I found this nice little shard. I'm not sure what that would have said, but it's got a nice little woman there. Maybe Britannia or a goddess of some kind. Looks like she's on a boat the sail to the right. That's really nice. I'll keep finding these little um, files, little chemist files or medicine, anything you can fill up from a doctor or somewhere similar. Lovely air bubbles and lovely aqua colour, sheared top, Victorian. Beautiful. <laughs> This is a lovely chunk of glass, look at that. I'll clean it up, see loads of lovely air bubbles and it'll just be pretty cool, it's like a paperweight, it's quite heavy. Um, I've got one of these from this tip before, so I may put this one on the Etsy store, just because I want, some, I want to share it with someone. So uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. Just unusual, it looks like, it looks like a natural emerald when it's all cleaned up. Stay tuned for that. Well, Tim's just echoed the words, I haven't seen that one before. Yes. What you got, Tim? A nice little uh, sheer top. Some sort of food bottle, probably, sauce. It's got a nice uh, weird looking lip. It's a sheer top, hmm. but it's very strange looking and it's got some print as well. Oh, lovely. And it says WP and S Limited. Excellent. It's got an X. X marks the, a spot. That marks a spot, but it's quite a nice little one. That. That's cute, isn't it? It looks like almost. It looks like almost whiskey. Yeah, I thought top. That, like a little miniature, miniature drink, isn't it? Hmm. But I'm going to guess it's sauce, just in a weird, in a weird shape bottle. Excellent. Well done, mate. Thank you very much. Well, drop tip. <laughs> Just found this lovely little bottle. I don't know how I saw it, but I just it just came came at me. And it's a lovely little blue bottle. Look at that. And uh, Tim tells me 
good chance it's called a marking ink so it would have been used to uh, mark clothes perhaps on the labels maybe when they were doing laundry um, that's lovely and I think it's pretty much uh, complete here I don't think there's anything wrong with it it's a good find I'm happy with that. It's, only, it's tiny, but it's all there. A little clean, that'll look, come up lovely. lovely on the shelf, that ah, beautiful. Oh, I'm happy now. I found something really cool. And it's blue. My favourite colour glass. I'm sure it's yours as well. Although aqua is an awesome colour as well, but I do love that. Who doesn't love a blue bottle? And not the type to fly around the windowsill. Oh. Not as good as your marking <laughs> ink. An aqua eight-sided ink. Oh, lovely. Oh, so are we getting on some good bo good bottles now? All there, no damage. Keep piling them up. Yeah, do you want to have a look at my little uh, blue one? So look at that. I'm very surprised that it oh, didn't just get... that's lovely. That's the smallest they get as well. I've seen ones that are fractionally taller. That is as diddy as they come. Under two inches, mm. with a perfect flared lip. Normally they've got, often they've got little nibbles and flea bites, so that's uh, very good to dig them in that condition. And uh, that'll look stunning when that's clean. It will do, won't it? Put it by the window, I think, let the light shine through. Absolutely. Sweet. Well, Tim's on to a nice little hot spot there. What you got, man? Another little... Uh, one just popped out the seam. Oh, so looks like a maybe a perfume. I thought I saw some embossing on it. Oh, I did. It says Ed Pinol or Pinal Paris. Oh, fancy. That's lovely. Fancy one. All the way from Paris. Que Paris. Excellent. So, look. There you go. Nice work. I might have had a nice little stopper in that, this glass stopper. PD Pignor That's beautiful Oh, there's a little signature on the base as well Ed Pignor, I imagine Probably saying that completely wrong Pignoled Pignol, Pignol Pignol, Ed Pignol French That's a lovely little one Probably with a little label in the middle, do you reckon, as well? Yeah Nice little one, it's still got some little, stuff inside there a little there. miniature Excellent, well done. Well, we might be all tin today by the looks of things. He's on a hot spot. Digging out some lovely bits and bobs. It's quite interesting, to see? Well, who knows? It's just luck at the end of the day, and if you pick the right spot or not. Who knows what the bottle gods will deliver? <laughs> you get some lovely little miniatures, though. A little white thing by the brick there. Yeah, yeah. I thought. Oh, okay. Something did look like a pot lid. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Cool. Shout if you find anything else. We'll do. Ed Pinal became passionate about perfumes very early in life, and having turned just 13 years old, he left his family to become an apprentice in order to master the techniques of perfumery. In 1830 he arrived in Paris and bought his first boutique when he was just 20 years old and dedicated his life to the industry. He went on to create some amazing perfumes and even went to some lengths to attract Queen Victoria when she visited Paris in 1855. Pinel wanted to attract her attention and created a perfume in her name called Bouquet de la Reine Victoria. She was immediately charmed by the talent and enthusiasm of the young designer and he went on to become the official supplier to the Queen and also Napoleon Troyes, Emperor of the French at the time. I wonder if this perfume was brought back by someone who visited Paris too, back when the Eiffel Tower was a new building. Well, bottles poking out there, might just be a little sauce, might be broken. Oh, it's complete. Oh, you know what it is? I'm trying to think about what, what it is before. Oh, there's a little robin over there. That's sweet. There he is. They always like to come and visit you if you dig in. Little Liam Perrin's one. That's quite sweet. Take that. Mm. 
red red rubber goes bob bob bobbing along what you got saw anything oh, one coming out the hole mate let's have a look oh it's oh it's complete i thought it was broke for a second yeah a little polish stomach polish not bad excellent hey <laughs> that'll do Nice one. We got Tim. We got. We got. We had a few bits. We had uh, just this one just come out. Oh yeah. So look closely around. John Richards, London. Sweet. Not seen that before. Yeah. A nice aqua sauce, which uh, is a Warner Warner, Warner Road. Road Southeast. WC and Co. So I've seen them before. Uh -huh. But it's quite a nice one with a yeah. nice sheer top. Sweet. Top of a ginger beer. Which would have been oh, a, yeah. a Mills of like it's a beehive top, so it would have been a Mills of London. Nice. And then a handful of various uh, odd sauces, including a Mason's OK. And a few other. Doing well. Bits and Bob's chemists. We well, tend to put labels on these, wouldn't you? Yeah. Just sort of rejuvenate a bit. Yeah. Find the old labels and put them on. Be quite a nice little uh, project. Yeah, definitely. Sweet. Hold on, Tim. Keep going. Okay. All right, Tim's going to throw me this. Oh, what a catch. So, this is a base of something. Not sure what that is. Maybe a. I don't know. Ashtray or something, but that's beautiful. And I found a mystery object. Look at that. What on earth is that? Stone. So I think it might be a knife sharpener. Or it's a very rude object. Stone finger. Any ideas, Tim? I was going to say knife sharpener. Yeah, it's that stony feel. <laughs> oh, just a little bottle up. It's like a little vinegar. You can see already there's loads of lovely bubbles in this one. Look at that. Not particularly unique, but still a lovely little made Victorian sheer lip vinegar. Very nice. I always said you were quackers. <laughs> hey. And there's the proof. Oh, look at that duck. Sadly broken. Sweet little thing. That'll clean up. You can actually display it like that. Excellent. We're ruffling a few feathers today, aren't we? Certainly are. Oh, Tim's a mud lover. Look at all that stuff coming out. Love a bit of splodging. This is definitely some kind of a table water. Well, we've got something sticking out. Maybe a fine. Oh, yeah. If it's not, bust it. <laughs> Let's see, if we, see if we can avoid breaking the lip. Here we go. Hoping. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, good, good, good. Looks like we've got a good chance the next going to come out with it. Looks like we've got a plug flask. Excellent. Hopefully it's got some names on it. Oh, it seems to be moving. Quite a good scene. Bits and pieces around it. There we go. Oh, nice. Out she comes. Yes. For the first time in 130 odd years. Beautiful. Do you want to do the honours and wipe it? I can see that there's a, there's the edge of where a label would have been, or maybe even the name. There we go. Look at that lion distillery. Distillery. Something. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Oxford, Oxford Street. Is it Noxton? No, no Noxton. Hoxton Street. Hoxton. I wonder if that's in a uh, Shoreditch. Well done. That's a lovely find. Beautiful mate, you happy? Good bit of history. Lovely. It's saved. 
So when I looked into the Lion Distillery at 82 Hoxton Street, I found that there used to be a Red Lion pub at this address. However, no building survived at this site. It was most likely destroyed in World War II. There is another Red Lion pub on this street, which isn't surprising considering back then there were 13 public houses on this one road. You got another little kitsch find there, have you Tim? A nice little bit of an ornament. Oh yeah, that's cute. Got to throw them up far over here. Yeah, we're good at catching. And there he is. I'm mate, I'm mate, ain't it? Nice little hat. Probably someone leaning up against a little tree. Still a little bit of uh, paint on it. It's cute. Got a bottle in the hole. A bottle in the hole? A bottle in the hole. Right, let's go and see Tim. Tim's doing really well today. I think he must be on a really cool scene. Um, so let's go and uh, see what he's found. Oh, I'll tell you what. It's a Camberwell, I'll what? Oh, that's a Camberwell. Perfect for uh, to turn into a. That was you, that was your. Uh, a drinking vessel. There we go. Yeah, yeah I could always I could nice upcycle vase. that. That'd be quite a nice little vase. Oh, White's and Sun, Camberwell. Come and join me in my hole. <laughs> oh. oh wow, look at that. Fresh up. Bell, a bell ink. Nice bell ink. Yeah, that's nice. There you go, guys. Straight out of my hole. <laughs> a little bell ink. Awesome. And so that's a little close up with that bell ink there. I'll clean that up later. And hope there'll be loads of lovely bubbles in it. Quite rare. Now, I don't think I've found one of those before. Complete. So, well happy with that. And Tim's had this. There you go. Nice little El Alexandra. I think this is Westbourne Groove, London. Oh, sweet. West London. Lovely little thing. Ah, oh, another little local find. Not had one of those before. That's beautiful. That's, That's really nice cool. Local find for us. Westbourne. Grove. Just round the corner. El Alexander. That's pucker. Yeah, unusual that he, uh, in that colour as well. Yeah, never seen one before. I Have like you? No, nope, never seen one. Oh, beautiful. What well up, mate? Look forward to looking him up, or her, could be a woman, as they often are. We've got the address and everything. Fantastic. Another awesome piece of history. Well, another mystery present in the mud. What can it be? It might be a pickle jar. Oh, that's a big one. That's nice. Big old pickle jar. Oh yeah, they have as well. Just as you say that, the name revealed itself. God, Tim's a genius. He really is when it comes to bottles and what things are. So Kepler is that some sort of relish company? Pickled, pickled relish maybe. Yes, yeah, big, and, big and beautiful. Well, this just popped out the hole. It's a gorgeous little, Tim tells me, two-tone pot. You can see it's got the sort of brownie top and the creamy finish. Probably would have had mustard in it or something, maybe. Don't know. Nice little keeper. There you go, just cleaned it a bit, you can see there. Nice little bit of decoration on as well. That little groove would have had a piece of string around it and kept a paper lid on. Very nice. Well, Tim's just thrown this at me. I'm inclined to throw it back. No joking. It's lovely. Southwestern Railway. Do a little teacup, probably. Nice little, uh, nice little shard. So, Tim's found Michelle. A little shell. Is that Michelle? Michelle, nice shell. Quite a nice one. 
and go on the garden wall with all the other shells I've got. I was going to say something else then. <laughs> garden wall with all the other sh. Very nice. That's a real shell, right? It is a real shell. Might be. What would it be? Oyster? Clam? No idea, some mate. Sort of clam? I'll have to do some research. Excellent. Well found. Thank you. Well, Tim's just throwing this at me. Lockhart's Limited London. And he tells me that it's actually Coco Room. Like a calf, I presume. Tea rooms, that sort of thing. Excellent. Well, it looks like it's from a plate. Cool. Well, Tim's getting excited about something. Found a little stopper. Oh, yeah, that's sweet, isn't it? Stopper that's in the shape of a cross. It's quite nice, isn't it? It's unusual. So, first for me. Excellent. Are you going to try and fit it in one of your bottles you got now? Yeah, it won't go in it. I tried, oh. but it'll go in something. I've definitely got something at home. But I'm pleased with that. I like I've got, that. I've got to say it'll fit in. Go on. Kip, kip the jar on. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> no, I'm not joking, that's perfect. It's perfect, there we go. <laughs> but you can't have it. Always here to help. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, we're just putting out a few of our favourite finds of the day. Not them. Here's mine. You've seen these come up, but I'll just briefly run through them. What is this one against him? Morel's Ink. Morel's Ink? So it's probably an ink, but it could be a gum because of the shape. But yeah. they're company. Lovely bell, ink pot, love that. A little blue bottle, which is really cool. Perfect condition. Lovely clay pipe, probably my favourite find of the day. That or that, don't know, can't, can't make my mind up. And this part of a pot lid, which maybe we'll find the rest of it when we come back. So stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't done so, because I might come back for it. Timmy, done well on bottles, mate. Yeah, these were just a few. A um, couple of the cleaner sources, few top ones. There's one um, which was WC and Co. Oh, yeah. uh, and then there's the Daddies. They're both sort of miniatures, so they're quite nice. And we had this WP and S Limited. Not seen that before. I also had a yeah. Morel's Ink Gum. Nice. He knows Lightning Cough Cure. Yep. And then uh, the Ed Pinol. Oh yeah, that's a pretty Paris. sweet one. Nice. And we had this quite nice uh, amber sort of uh, hair restorer or something similar. Nice. Hair lotion. L. Alexandra. Yep. Westbourne Grove, London. Uh, and a very early screw top, a Victorian screw top jar. Oh, yeah. Which I was interested in because it's, it's quite unusual. It is. Very nice. You forgot your uh, pub last, mate. Pub flask, yeah, I'll go and get that. <laughs> and a couple of bubbles as well. It's been a really dirty one today. Um, so it ain't done too badly considering we've been digging and had a bit of lunch. Started about half ten, finishing now about, well, quarter four, something like that. So, happy days. Not a bad little uh, run yeah, of spoils. Pub flask, which was the lion. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Let's we'll see if we can find anything about that. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see if it's still there, you never know. Well, the distillery won't be, but sometimes they were attached to pubs. So uh, that's really cool. And a nice, fairly rare, in my hands, uh, oh, juvie, yeah. two ounce juvies. Oh, I didn't see that one come up. Get that one from us. Yeah. Lovely shape on that as well. Meat extract. Sweet. Nice one, Tim. Like what a great day. Not and bad. Base of a pot lid. Oh yeah. <laughs> that would have been a similar, similar to mine. So look, we are the camouflage brothers today. We want to hide from the bottles. We don't want them to see us coming, do we? No. Uh, so anyway. It's been cold, but fun. It's cold, but we don't mind getting stuck into it. And it's been a great day. So if you've enjoyed this, please subscribe, like, comment, if you want to say something about any of the finds we've had up. And we'll see you on the next Mud Adventure. <laughs> see you later, Mud Lovers. See ya. So now I'm going to do the draw to see who wins a copy of the wonderful book Thames Mudlarkin. So you can see I've got up this random comment picker website. So thank you for everyone that's commented. 
Here I'm going to include the URL of the video and click a few boxes, put in the word hashtag shared and see who the lucky winner is. So how many comments did we get? 503 comments. Thanks everyone for entering and sharing and good luck. Oh, who's going to win? Cheryl Swanson. Well done, Cheryl. She says, hashtag shared. Love your videos. Been sharing with my sister. Thank you very much, Cheryl, for sharing. And thank you for everyone else who shared these videos. I'll be doing more competitions in the future. So please subscribe, stay tuned, and keep a lookout for more videos.